back in Bar Harbor at the Mount Desert Narrows RV Resort that we talked about uh, two months ago. We showed a video about this. So if you pan around, it can show that there's still a reduced amount of people here in Bar Harbor. I would say that occupancy is about 40% as opposed to 5 to 10% on our last video that we did. So the waterfront sites, which were completely empty before, now have a, a, cert, a decent number of people on those. Those are the high dollar sites. I would say maybe about 50% there. So a lot more than what there was. And I would say that Acadia National Park still seems to be about 40% full of the typical amount of people as compared to when we first came here three months ago when it was virtually none nobody okay we can see here that the pool is now open here at Mount Desert Narrows in fact all the amenities are open now the showers are open the laundry room is open even the playground has the caution tape removed from it. So here you are back in Bar Harbor. <laughs> <laughs> and what are you doing? We're having a picnic out on the cliff overlooking the ocean. A picnic in your where? In Acadia. Acadia National, National Park. Park. And it's stunning. All right, so let's show everybody. So you got a the Max plate from Mainly Meats right down the street. You have to go to Mainly Meats. This is the <laughs> best barbecue. You can't say, oh, Texas, oh, whatever the other states are. This is dang good barbecue. <laughs> <laughs> so she's got her sauces. You got your ribs, chicken, sausage pulled pork, potato salad, coleslaw, mac and cheese. Wow. It is just so good. That's all included. And I am not a humongous meat eater, so for me to love this, this is really saying something. So here's where we are. This is what is so fantastic about van life, is you can pull over anywhere you want, and we just, this is the road that leads to the visitor center in Acadia National Park. So there goes the traffic. The traffic's really not too bad here. It's one way and you're just getting a small fraction of the traffic coming into the park. But look at the view for lunch. You pull over, you put your awning out, we've got shade. And look at this view. All to ourselves. All to ourselves. We'll hang out here this afternoon. Here's the road. And then there's this small pull out. So you're not really gonna get very many people stopping here. And I've, I've already finished half my plate here. <laughs> <But. laughs> so we went into Bar Harbor yesterday, checked out the scene. What did we see, Kim? Well, there was a lot of people actually the restaurants were all packed a lot of people just walking around enjoying food and and we uh we went on a sailboat what we went on a sunset cruise sunset cruise, <laughs> on a sailboat. It was sunset so cruise on the margaret todd a four-masted sailing ship it was amazing we had such a great time perfect weather perfect weather. We didn't have much wind, but we had enough wind to really get a taste of the sailing. And the sky was just perfectly with a little bit of clouds so that made it a beautiful sunset. And we had a guy on board, he was playing acoustic guitar and singing, which made it really nice. Yeah, I think I'll put a little short clip of that uh, right now.
<laughs> okay. So what'd you think of that, huh? Beautiful. <laughs> we saw harbor seals, gray seals, porpoises. We didn't see any eagles or anything. No whales. But we had a great time. Yeah, it was very nice. And they actually uh, serve beer and wine on the boat while you're on the cruise. So if you want to have a cocktail, you can, which is really yeah. cool. Yeah, really great people. And you don't have to wear a mask on the boat. So don't worry about that. Mm -hmm. You can if you want to. Yeah, people do. People were kind of wearing them when they were walking around, but when they were sitting, just enjoying the scenery, they took it off. Yeah. Which was yeah. good. Yeah. I got to help raise the sail. That was fun. Uh, and mm -hmm. then after we went on the Sunset Cruise, we went to the Chocolate Emporium. It's, um, oh. Ben and something. Bill and Bill. <laughs> Bill and Buster's or Dave and Dan's Anyways, or something. Homemade ice cream. Yeah. <laughs> Had good stuff. Good, <laughs> good stuff there. Uh, but I would say that I'm still seeing maybe 40% of mm -hmm. the normal capacity of people here. So there's a lot more people, but it's still enjoyable. Yes, it's still it's enjoyable. Still been good. Our, RV Park is about 40% full, and we'll show you a little bit of that. Um, either I've already showed it to you, or it'll sh it's, it's coming up on this segment. But we are having a great time. But all good things must come to an end, shouldn't, or don't they? <laughs> yeah, we'll be heading out of Maine here shortly. I think that we're gonna be heading out, and we're gonna be starting to head west. Where, we don't know, and that's the great thing. You don't know from one minute to the next. We didn't know we were going to be here until just a few minutes ago. Mm -hmm. And now look at us. It's good. So van life is the most wonderful way to see the United States. I just can't think of any better way to live than the way that we live. I'm here, a, it's freedom. That's what it is. It's complete freedom to be able to do and see absolute freedom yeah we love it <laughs> so i hope you guys love it too so here's our full hookup site at mount desert narrows quite a bit of difference between the primitive sites that we love to stay at especially when we're right on the water we are getting ready to leave maine tomorrow yeah. now what did you think about maine kim i loved this state in the summertime it is so beautiful it's so green and i think what i really loved is you have everywhere you go there's either a waterway of a river a lake or the ocean so the beauty is very diverse you can kayak wherever you want the hiking has been great the bike riding has been great so all of the things that we enjoy doing we were able to do it all here and I think that's why we had so much fun here and stayed here so long is because we kept being able to go to new places and do new things. So, Are you going to miss this place? I, I, I think I'm going to miss it in the beauty of it and in the, the friends that we have made here, most definitely that. Um, but I'm ready to explore some more. So how about a little bit? of lobster on our way out of the state tomorrow now we're at 27 pounds of lobster right now yeah we have had some of the most incredible seafood fresh out of the ocean not just lobster but scallops and shrimp all all kinds of seafood um it, it's been refreshing to be able to go to a grocery store and actually buy fresh wild caught fish and not have to worry about it being farmed uh, that i'm definitely gonna miss for sure. So what do you think? Maybe a two two pound lobster, two and a half pound lobster Probably on your way out? For me. For for oh two for you? Okay. Yeah, when I get too big, I have a hard time getting into it. So I have a feeling we're gonna break thirty pounds of lobster on our our short yes. stay here in Maine. Well we got our fill. Well I'm glad that you've had a good time visiting yes. Maine for the first time. I've loved it. I wanted you to see all the beauty that this place has to offer. And it's been great. And we've had great weather, hardly any rain, which is unusual. But yeah. It's been really perfect. Okay, well, let's get on our way then. Let's do this. All right. <laughs>